Neneme. Naname. Nye. Mpanye pe. Matu blofo bo. Nene chaman. Jeche. Kabu. Abraham Akwoku the third. Paramount chief and president of Adan Traditional Council. Honorable ministers of state. Honorable members of parliament. Honorable district chief executives. Neneme, Naname, distinguished invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to join the chiefs and people of the Adar Traditional Council to celebrate this year's Asafotofiami Festival. In Ghana, we love festivals. They do not only preserve and maintain our cultural and traditional heritage. They also serve to promote tourism and provide a platform for our elected officials to discuss government programs and policies. More importantly, festivals allow us to meet and plan developmental projects for our communities. It is good, therefore, to come together on a day like this, from far and near, to meet with our kith and kin to plan a future that will benefit present and future generations. It is interesting that the theme for this year's celebration is the same as last year's, mobilizing local resources towards the development and growth of the traditional area. What does this tell us? That development is a continuous process. It also tells us that communities and traditional areas must take ownership of development and work with political authorities to ensure development meets the needs of our people. What I find admirable about this year's celebration, though, is the recognition that the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda must also be owned by communities across the country. When we all understand what Ghana Beyond Aid means, and when we become active participants, certainly we shall all enjoy the benefits of the vision. Together, let's drive the solutions for growth and development. Let's own our development. I am therefore happy that the traditional council has identified salt production, aquaculture, vegetable farming, agro-processing and tourism as potential areas for the economic development of the Ada traditional area. This calls for strategic planning and investments, both local and foreign. It also calls for well-educated citizens. Citizens who understand local and global challenges and their solutions. I know how important good roads are to the development of our country. The president, Nana Ado, Akufu Ado, and his government is working systematically to fix roads in Ghana. This traditional area will not be left out. Neneme, Naname, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the government is improving both access and quality of education. The free SHS initiative is one giant step towards this agenda. But I am concerned that perhaps the parents in some of our communities are not encouraging their children, especially girls, to stay in school. 
My plea is for all of us to make education our priority for both boys and girls. As Africans, our predecessors respected the environment. They understood that so long as we took good care of the environment, the earth would continue to sustain us. Today, population growth, urbanization, globalization, and industrialization continue to stress the earth. We are producing waste at a rate and in volumes that are alarming. Waste disposal has become a huge challenge for our world. Let us not deceive ourselves that we can continue to live this way without consequences. Please, let's take care of the environment. Let's use less plastics. Let's reduce the cutting down of trees and the destruction of forests. I challenge the traditional council to initiate a program that will reduce plastic waste, replant trees and reclaim lands that have been rendered infertile by human activity. We have to conserve natural resources and the existing natural environment and where possible to repair damage and reverse trends. Neneme, naname, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this festival commemorates the victories of warriors in past battles and also ushers in the season of harvest. We are all modern day warriors. Our fight is against poverty, ignorance, and disease. Our fight is for the prosperity, not only of our nation and communities, but also for our families. May the good Lord bless and prosper as we fight on. Thank you. Thank you very much.